protests also forcing a debate among veterans and what they fought for. As Kendra LaFleur reports, they too have different opinions on this issue. Flags line the streets in Karen Crow, and one of those flags proudly hangs near veteran Wilbert Lacombe's home. Flag is our freedom. Flag is our freedom of speech. Flag is what we can do as a free person, regardless of who we are. If we want to do it, we can do it because of the flag and what it represents. Lacombe served six years in the Navy. I'm disappointed in, in the professional sports. Uh, I love football. I love all sports. But I think there's a time and place, and to say you're going to do these things, I think they're, it's a slap in the face to the veterans and to the anthem and the flag, which we represent. We went, we went to the services and fought the wars and died and, and, and for. But some veterans, like Matthew Simon, disagree. They're exercising their rights, and I think their voice should be heard. Simon argues the protest serves a purpose, bringing attention to racial injustice. The national anthem says justice for all. So if we got some injustice going on somewhere, we need to correct it. So it is a, a individual right whether you want to kneel or, or, or if you want to stand or if you want to put your hand over your heart. I think as, as their right. You know, you had veterans that died for uh, people for that right. It's not the right place and I think everybody has a right to speech to anything they want to speak but that definitely wasn't the place to do it. In Lafayette Parish, Kendria LaFleur, KTC TV3. The Saints budget is now on the agenda for an upcoming meeting of the Legislative Budget Committee.